Welcome back to the channel guys and girls Today we're at a, a CVH Spirits Which was formerly known as Distel International Limited And CVH Spirits have took it over The 26th of April 2023 this year So They make certain drinks I'm not a whiskey drinker so I don't really know Any of these drinks but you guys might recognise them Can I make it that first one? I think that second one says Lideg Tobin Mori Deanston, Black Bottle, I think I recognise that bottle, Scottish Leader, but I can't be sure. And Amarula. Now Amarula is actually got a big poster up on the side of the building, along with another drink called Sturadur. Just got a wee close up of that. So maybe recognise their drinks, they remember the most popular ones. So let's, let's see a wee, bit, a wee bit about the business. It's basically saying CBH Spirits, formerly Distel International, was a born through partnership, knowledge, and expertise and successful of our Distel. I've got a fly in my face. Distel founders, Mego, a vision organisation to invest in companies that are positioned to succeed. We were created in 1997 and about for 25 years. And the rest of it, it's just can read it yourselves up on the, the page. Too much information about nothing really. So we'll go across the road and we'll go and have a wee nosy to see what the what's behind that fence. Basically there's only pallets. Paying gas in there, mere pallets. Workers' cars and a forklift. And there's the two signs if you can see them a bit better. With that, I'm rolling in the the stew right there. Oh, I'm blocking the view. There you go. So we'll head round the side and see what's round this way. So we're up at the main bit. Seems it's in two sides. The distillery is that side. And the offices are that side. Right. So we're basically at the front of the building here. I want to show you the buildings a bit of an eyesore, especially at the roof. I think that's what fills your audits with me, your roofs. So, as you can see, the roof's pretty much a state. The side of it, anyway, I don't know what the top of it's like, you find it in the shop. Traffic's really busy here today. Damn do, there's another one, get out. Because I've heard of that one. I'm stuck here waiting for traffic moving. As you, as you can see, the, the registration put in the back. Bumps over there. It's a gatehouse over there. A few folks staring as it is. So we'll back out to this part before we get to the reception and see what's around this side. So we've got a few stairs there, so I'd rather dim up the surroundings, the, the border. The whole building before I started bugging us. So there's some of your drink there. Go a sip of that as well. Got your drink ready to go. These guys that love it. Not very secure, but it's all shut off. What we'll do is go up this back bit and see if there's anything there. There's the back yet, there's basically nothing. So I'll go back around the front and tell them we're getting chopper up.
what a cracking day it is for September. This is my first decent day. This is the very first, very first holiday I done was in middle of June. I done the Heartlands one, it was sunny that day. And every other odd up until this one, it's not been sunny. Absolute joke, a Scottish summer. It's the worst I can ever remember. It was just for the days in June. Poor rains at school. I'm not one decent day during the school holidays. So again, we're stuck in traffic, so we need to wait to get across. So we're down the bottom here and have a wee nosey first. See what you look out for when we put the drone up. So obviously the back of the yard and the loft going to having a good start. So here at the bottom of the site with the fence, lots of big lorry wash there. Another part that's got barrels in there, if you want to see it. You get a better camera. And the warehouse zero one. There's warehouse zero two over there. So I think we've got a guy come down at seas, but we'll just play dump. You what? Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. We're going up and down. Aye. I did. I did. I put. I did videos from my social media. Now this bit I'm raging myself because he's walked up with a phone and he's on it and I've not noticed. I thought he was holding a cup of coffee because the way the sun was right in my eyes and he was dead polite. So I have made three phone calls to CVH this morning, the GDPR complaint, in which the security guard, when I spoke to him, he basically says he's going to upload it. So I reckon the manager will stop him for doing that, but that's what happened. So I'll upload that later on this evening because it is about 10 minutes long with the three phone calls. Plus all the hillbilly music, I'll need to cut all that out when they put me on hold, things like that. None of the guards have got SIA on, but they're in-house security, which don't need it. I know this from my own personal experience. That's why I don't pull them up for their badge, because I knew they were in their subcontract and didn't need it. So here's the rest of the footage. I do videos from my social media, our businesses. All right. And I fly a drone over and basically show off. All right. Is that right. what you're trying to... Get some get some work off of us. Is that what you're trying to do here? Why would they get work? I mean, oh. I'm here to basically pro I can promote a business. It depends how the, or the, the basically how the video goes. I mean, if it comes out and everybody's kind of hostile, but basically I do it interesting places. Right. See, I've done Iron Brew, I've done Celtic, I've done Rangers stadiums, done things like that. So just basically come up, take a wee video of the surroundings, and then fly a wee drone over. Okay, just a bit right. odd to see someone walking around with a camera when we're not expecting it, you know? Well, that's the thing, it's random visits, so I, don't, I just turn up. That's what part of my, my page is. Right, okay. All right. What's the handle? What do you mean? Well, your online handle for the page. I don't get it. You don't get it? No, I don't get it. You, you, you'll find it yourself if you, if you search about it. But that's part of my... Okay, so how would I find it then? Well, it's on YouTube, that's what I'm saying. So, it's not, it's not hard to work out. Depends how the video goes, see the video goes alright, I'll tell you, but see if it ends up with somebody saying I can't fly the, fly the drone over, because you just don't own the airspace, so I can totally fly the drone over. Yeah. I've already checked it, it's not even yellow, it's totally clear. So if the, the video goes fine, I'll tell you, but if it starts going a bit erratic, right. then I don't see it. So it depends how the management act. Fair enough. Because they might turn around and say, oh, you're not flying the drone out of our business, we don't want your video on it, which is... Which I can hmm. think you can understand. Well, I can totally understand, that's why I'm not getting my, my channel out now, to basically... I see how the video goes. Okay. I seen there was a guy last week at Terence, absolutely brilliant, tell me sorry to fly the drone over and all that stuff. Tell me a bit of history about the place and all that stuff. It's, but That's you get other folk other folk maybe phone the police on you, but if you Google a drone under 250 grams, if you Google that, that basically tells you you can fly over commercial and all that stuff. You just don't know in the airspace. Don't know in the airspace, uh, but I do know you require a licence if you're doing any kind of commercial work with it. I'm not doing any commercial, it's for myself, member of the public. Close. So, but that's that's fine. Right, Just you can check it out. Double, double check because obviously I've got an upper ID on my drone and everything. Got all that stuff. That's fine. Just wanted to keep an eye out. That's all right. Fine. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take over over there. Okay. Because I, I know this is this is public land anyway. It's open to the public. No, um, do you know you've got guys driving forklifts across the road beneath registration? Absolutely, they're allowed. To. With the register plate. Yeah. Hell, they a big dipper. Aye, aye, 
I'll be back in a second. So you can go and double check that. I say I'll be five minutes time. I'll be flying. I'll be flying the drone there. So if you get an issue with something, come out and see us. I'll be taking off to the bottom of the road. No worries. All right. Is that later on today or? No, just in it now. Just in it now. Aye. Okay. No worries. All right. So I'll be there in right five minutes. Right, pal. Right. Cheers. So I've gave it five minutes. I'm actually going to double check with security because I'm not wanting somebody coming up and bugging me during mid-flight. Because for one, that's illegal, but. It also interrupts my cov my my footage. <laughs> so we're going to the gatehouse. How are you doing? I was basically got one of your colleagues was talking to him about the I'm gonna fly a drone here. So I basically I'm going to five minutes if anybody with a problem couldn't see us. I don't want them bugging me while they're doing mid-flight, so I'm just double checking what's the, what's the scenario. I shouldn't even be on the site. I know, I'm just going to talk to you, so I'm just going to walk straight back off. That's fine. But it's also one. illegal to talk to somebody when they're up flying a drone. It's just in case he's like management knowing they want to come and talk to us. Well, that's, that's a, a your control. No, but usually the guys are not Obviously fine. we're curious as to why you would want to do it. But what you've done, you've just left it with yourselves. I've used folded it on to management of it. Myself, and in case it, there's no need to think everything involved at this moment in time. Uh -huh. I'm just curious as to why. It's basically, I put on my, my social media. Aye. Right. So I put on my channel. Uh, but you're also coming across here. Aye, that's part of my social media. It's uh -huh. a whole it's a, a, a video of the site of the business. Right. So basically, the video of the businesses in Scotland and interesting places. As I said, your colleague as well, I've done like Celtic, I've done Rangers. In Livingston Stadium, are these stadiums interesting places? I'd rather you didn't make on some private site, but obviously we can't. I can't stop it. I'm not going to. There's gonna, big money in here. Because you've got security, your friends are secure. No, I mean, if you've not got that, then you basically need to so secure a bit, but if there's weaknesses, you know what I mean? So we can't legislate for drones, etc. No, well, that's it, the law is you can fly drones there. What, what they're filming why they're filming? For, are they Must businesses? Be, as I'm uh, saying, to, to be absolutely honest with you, this is a bad day. You know, uh, we've got a fire test as you can see there. In two minutes, we need to be on mass right now. Where's your fire position? Outside? No, it's not a fire test. It's, a, it's an internal test of the system. All right. Not of an evacuation. The body. I'll go off site, pal. I was just, I just wanted to make sure in case somebody for the management might expect right. to us. Cheers, pal. Well, it's a bad day for them, but a good day for me because I'm going to wait to bang on 2 o'clock for the fire test and that's when the drone's going up. Or one minute to two, so I'm up there to watch it. So we'll go back over here to take off again. So it's 1.59, so we've we'll got the chopper up in the sky and we'll see if we can see this fire alarm go off. Put them on speed mode. And up he goes. So put them up quite a bit so we're not interrupting with our daily business. So just cars down there, go a wee bit higher. So as I said, I missed the parking in the every site. There's a couple of folk picked out, they're on the reverse part, but I'm not 100% sure if they've got the reverse part policy, I didn't see any signs. So we'll fly over towards the security hut. Change the heart and about the sun is bright, really bright today. So we're now two o'clock. I think I can hear the alarm going off. It's not that loud for over here. There's the alarm going off. Internal systems, so see if anybody's what's happening. The guy said that the staff on the evacuating because the last thing I wanted to do was they stand and flying the drone and all come out and stand next to me. So we'll check the whole site at 2 o'clock. Uh, we know it's at the roof. Well, there's no moss, so no solar panels, but the roof is clean. No roof cleaners needed for this site. That's the alarm, I think it's finished now. So we'll take a wee fly over to the back. Where we we know there's nothing there, but all we know is it. Let's go a bit higher up. 
So that's the bit we videoed at first, we've started the, the video for this CBH. I'll look up at the sign there because I forgot what the name of the place was. So there's basically a £17 million profit last year. Well, the old company, the Stell, of £133 million turnover, I think it said. So there's things there, I said I'm useless, with, in fact, I really needed my research. I didn't expect to get a distillery or I would have. So I think that's where the whiskey gets stored or I mean it's one of them said 12 years. Do they keep it here for 12 years in the barrels out the barrels are seen at the back? That's a different yard behind that. That silver cylinder's the end of the yard I think. I'm sure that's I'm sure that's Muir over there. Oh, yeah, it's Muir over there. I don't see a boundary fence so can't see a boundary fence on on my on my screen, so a Harris fence in there, it looks open. Maybe they share the, the van wash. So, we'll fly chopper back across. Right, I need to bring him back towards me first because he's going that way, he's, the sun's blinding me. So, I'll come back this way and then we'll fly back up to scare it up. It's just like a wee dot in the sky then out. So he's just goes well, just up. I may have to take off again because I'm not going to get. I mean, there's nothing over there. That's, that's the top of that warehouse, but that's all inside. So there's really nothing to see apart from these silver cylinders. So any of you guys know what this does? Put the comment. I say in the comments are great. It gave me knowledge as well. So next time I did the distillery, if you let me know what this does, I can then see what, the, see what that does. But I don't have a clue, I just I think that's how they, they make it, or they store it, hold it for so long before putting it in the barrels. So everything else is inside. So we'll go and look at the, the main building. Fly the drone over. Surprisingly, this roof hasn't got moss. But packed you there. Honestly, my first opinion with this was if I was wanting somebody to make my spirits, I'd, I'd want a big fancy kind of, or oh, a nice looking building. The building's really, it's just the top of the roof at the side, it's really like paint flaking off and all that stuff. It's not a very advertising building considering it makes a lot of money. So we'll fly back and we'll see if we get the whole building shot. Probably get the whole building shot for this side. So you come to these cracking businesses and everything's inside. That Muir site's got a lot of stuff. But well, it's got Muir in the fence. I don't think it is. This site, I'll go over the nosy. But again, it's tough to go for the other side to really fly over. The sun's that strong. Can't keep track of the drone. So we'll fly back towards the security hut. We'll see why these cars are reverse parked. And in the lines. Pretty a squint part and the job there. They're all reverse parks, so they must have the reverse park policy. Well, there's me down there. So we'll do a 180. Oops. Fly back a bit. Look at the side bit here as well. I'll look at the sides. All reverse part. Is that one reverse part? I can't tell on my screen because it's that sunny. Oh, here we've got another alarm going off. That was the two o'clock. Don't know if it's. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's distillery, there's business all around about me, so it's kind of echoing. We'll see what happens now. And that fort lift as well, no registration plates, they're going to the road that the public use. The security chat and tell me all, it's okay for them to do it, but it's not, and we'll just watch them again. Jump from factory to factory, you need to have a road tax and insurance and all that stuff for that. Registration plate. in the middle bit, I can actually nose it this bit.
And it's all great when sunny, but then it blinds you with your line of sight. The security were kind of can have the information as much as they've told me they've, they've just kept it with their cell you just you never know so we'll locked on this side and then we'll get chopper down and to my delight when I was checking drone assist coca-cola's right next to us so I'm going there next can I believe it it's like that. It felt great finding the distillery the next minute of drone assist is coca-cola so that must be coca-cola I don't know it's not a bit, maybe that white building, it's not that far for you anyway. It's one of the buildings, Coca Cola, so we're going to have a nose at that next. So that's basically it for CBH spirits. If you know any of the spirits, let me know if you drink them, because I haven't got a clue. But this, if we nose this forklift, he's just across the road to me. Where did they go? Where did they go? I can't see him with the drone. Fly back a bit and get another this way. So for this, for this one, well, for the site audit, basically, roofs are nice and clean, but a bit patchy. Maybe with some solar panels and stuff. So we'll get the roofs five out of, five out of ten because they're patchy. Plus the side panels just on the side of the building. I know that's not the roof, but it's detached. It's joining to the roof. They're a state. Uh, security were were on the ball. They, approached me, asked what it was doing, but at the same time, they got the information and they really should have furthered it on, either asked management, let them know, and then get back, when I, come, when I went back to them, gave them information, so I gave security, 5 out of 10 as well, cars were the worst part, forklift driving, we need registration on it, I think there's two of them and they've both not got registration plates, so one, 0 out of 10 for that, so that puts the audit down to basically a 4 out of 10. So that's us for CVH Spirits and East Bride. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you've not subscribed already. And cheers, I'll see you in the next one.